Good morning. It does matter how we treat each other, doesn't it? And so let me just say thank you for every way you treat others with Christ's love and kindness. It does matter how we speak to each other. So thank you for every time you could have said the wrong thing. But by God's grace and the leading of his spirit, you spoke graciously, mercifully to another. I share this because on Sunday we learned the reason for Paul's inspired letter to Timothy regarding the church in Ephesus. After Paul left him there to serve, he later wrote him the instructions that we find in this letter. And he writes that people would know how they are to conduct themselves in the church. We are God's household. Uh, we are the church of the living God. We're the pillar and foundation of truth. Here's what happened. So Paul and Timothy are traveling the region together. They arrive again in the city of Ephesus. And when they get there, they see the church in action, and they are grieved by some of the things they see. I mean, even after Paul had spent over two years there establishing the church, he realizes that there's still much that needs to be addressed. So he prays, and he's led to leave Timothy there in Ephesus so he can provide instruction and direction to address those issues. And these weren't casual issues. I mean, uh, Paul is dealing with uh, false teachers, false teachings, women who aren't acting properly, men who aren't, and it's pretty serious. And so he's going to need Timothy to bring words of correction and direction. And, you know, I do wonder that as Timothy began his ministry, if the people that he was confronting and correcting received his ministry. I mean, did the false teachers stop teaching those incorrect things? Did the vain women cease their fashion shows and begin to dress modestly? Did the indulgent men become sober and begin to act respectably? Were the greedy willing to accept the instruction Paul gives in chapter 6? I know greed doesn't go down easy. It would definitely be a work of God and his grace in many hearts. And there was Timothy. He's young, but he's in a, been equipped for the task. He's prayed. He's learning to speak courageously. He's learning to instruct patiently and to persevere in the work of the ministry. And so we're going to watch him in action as we go through this book. And uh, we're going to hear the things that are written. And we're going to consider what was happening and did they receive his ministry? And as we do, we're going to have invitation to consider ourselves, uh, how we conduct ourselves in God's church. And it's my hope that we'll all be teachable and correctable if there's anything that we need to address. And um, we need to remember that we have fellow believers watching us, so we need to be honest and address those things so we're not a stumbling block to them. We have a watching world. They need to see true, faithful, godly believers. And so as we look at this passage and these uh, different instructions, um, I've noticed that Paul gives specific instruction to Timothy. So in the midst of his ministry, he needs to make sure that he's dealing with his own issues, which I think is really important for us to remember. So listen to a few of them. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Do not neglect your spiritual gift. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Keep yourself pure. You, man of God, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Guard what has been entrusted to your care. 
grace be with you. And that's the way the letter ends. And it's just a good reminder of how God's grace has worked and will continue to work in his life and in our lives. And as we talked about last week, his grace is sufficient for us, isn't it? Good words for today. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your sustaining grace in our lives. We will rely on you for all things and look to you and trust you to lead us today. We pray. Now you continue. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Mornings with Pastor Jim. This podcast is a ministry of Family Church PC. For more information or to contact us, go to familychurchpc.com. Have a blessed day.